everyone, it's Aunt Stacy, and I want to talk just a little bit today. I'm here with Malcolm. Look at this sweet baby. Oh, he's just the sweetest boy in the world. And I just arrived for the claw trimming for his little group of him and his buddies. There are five kitties in this home that I get the great pleasure of taking care of. But look at this. Like, I've just gotten here. Can you hear the purr? Oh, it's so good. And I was just inspired to share that I know that we are grooming kitties by and large because we love cats and we really want to help them and we think they're just awesome. And I'm sure that we pet them and, you know, hey, sweetie, and let's get started and everything. But I just want to remind us all that it's okay to take our bags like I've done here. And just My bags are still on the floor. I haven't even gotten the treats out yet. And I, I can say that I used to be inclined to just want to give the treats right away. Oh, well, let's get a positive association, which I still believe. But I've learned, <laughs> I attended this wonderful science, feline science symposium at the San Francisco SBCA last year, which was great, which research showed that kitties actually, by and large, want affection even more than food. So I make it a point to start my sessions with at least two or three minutes of petting. And not five seconds, 10 seconds, but a couple of minutes if the kitty wants it. And the kitty's gonna let you know, they're gonna communicate to you whether they really want all this loving or they wanna get on with it. But Malcolm here is giving my uh, bag a nice good rub. He's purring, his tail is up. He's got a curve to it, life is good. He's telling me that this petting, which I'm doing right now while I'm holding the phone, is great, we're bonded. The other kid, cats aren't in here, so we're getting some one-on-one -on -one time, which is really important for him. He gets irritated when the other kitties come in and, and interfere with his one-on-one -on -one time. Don't you sweet boy, he's the bestest kitty ever. I love this cat. Anyway, uh, love and light, happy cat grooming to you, and I, I hope that this reminder just inspires you to take that extra time, because I promise you, if you take a couple of minutes to give the extra loving and the connection he's climbing over my leg, if you take the time to do a couple of minutes of that before you get started, it will actually speed up the process and save you time in the long run, I promise. Love and light, purrs to you, man.